Epic Quest. Now, um, the, the first idea for Epic Quest, well, actually, the formative ideas for Epic Quest have been coming along for a while now. And the, the ideas that I've had for sort of creating my own um, fantasy world, in a sense, and like my own continent in a in a new world, in a sense. But um, the formative ideas have been around for a year or so, a couple of years. And um, in the recent interactivity volume, in the, um, I think the story interactivity itself in the second chapter, I think it was. Um, I think it was the second chapter. Could have been one of the other chapters, but uh, epic quest ideas were drawn out. And um, at, the, uh, at the end of this video, there's a, a map of an epic quest maze, which is at the end of this video. But some basic ideas for epic quests were drawn out. And also, there's a new volume, which is volume 51 of the Angel Saga also, which is titled Epic Quest. Now, Epic Quest essentially involves, um, in the real world, the application of Epic Quest is in a, a world, a, a continent essentially is for the most part, because the continent's big enough, where um, what I'm trying to find is adventure in life. What kind of things which we can do, which we can have adventure in life, which also, also one of the core fundamentals is that it's, it's the adventure in life, which doesn't kill you. You know what I mean? Going into a fantasy movie and having, or being Indiana Jones and so, all sorts of things like that. They're great fantasy adventures to wish that we could have. Uh, or being Han Solo and so forth. But in the real world, nine times out of ten, you're going to end up dead. And if you keep on going on with epic quests or fantasy heroes all the time, just, as I said, you're just going to end up dead. It's not adventure. Those sorts of Hollywood movies are not adventures in which life is perpetuated eternally. So one of the, the basic fundamentals, in fact, probably the apart from Epic Quest itself, and it's a questing adventure thing, is that it has to be the kind of, one of the laws, of it, the fundamental laws for Epic Quest, it has to be the kind of adventure which perpetuates, which can go on eternally. Essentially, it's the adventure in life which humans can have, which is eternal adventure. Stuff which they can always practice and which is safe for human living. So, um, you know, sword and sorcery and all these fantasy things are great, but we can't necessarily main, maintain any real world application of such adventure because it kills you. So the epic world, epic quest continental world, which I envisage, which could potentially be created in a, in a sort of, if God gets involved, the project is a world where for, for starters, it's, um, it's like Gandalf rocking up and saying, you've, you've got a quest. You're Bilbo Baggins and Gandalf has got a task for you. Now, this is something which is arranged. It's, uh, it's a game you play and it's something which um, is put upon you because you, you, obviously you sign up probably for Epic Quest and it's run by a, uh, well, my organization, if I get it done. But... Um, it's, it's a quest you have for adventure in life. Often fantasy related and perhaps superhero related and science fiction related. That would be the main genres. But like I said, what's involved with the questing in Epic Quest, the kind of adventures which are not going to kill you. Now, it's, it's more than just a game. That's one thing I'd like to straighten out straight away is that this is more than just a game. This is the kind of stuff which is life as well. It's your real life at work. It's You're doing things and you're going to get things from Epic Quest which impact upon your real life. Because you sign up for Epic Quest, you take on the Epic Quest adventure in life to get something out of it. 
ultimately you could become part of that quest society. Quite quite conceivable because you could find your home in an adventure town or something. And I've got an idea that for epic quests, that um, for questing heroes, what we would get in is mail order brides slash dating agency brides who are ready to find a man, and they would be placed at something like a lady in waiting or a a, a bar maiden in a, a tavern. And you, this is for single men. It, if you want to win that lady, that could be part of the quest and literally marrying her. So as I said, it can impact upon your real life. But uh, the stuff involved with epic quests is essentially quests to find things, I suppose, and to solve, solve riddles and all sorts of things. But it has to be stuff which can be done in the real world and which is not going to put your life in danger. So the idea of it is that I design a world full of adventure and quests and things. And it's it's uh, the scope of a continent in the eternal, most likely, in some sort of eternal scenario. If I can get permission if I can, from God to do the work and if I can fill it with enough ideas to develop an epic quest thing where you go off for your adventure in life and see where Gandalf leads you.